iPhone 5s versus iPhone 6 versus iPhone 6s versus iPhone SE versus iPhone 7 versus iPhone 8 versus iPhone 10 iOS 11.2 coming up let's go So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the iPhone 5S versus the iPhone 6, 6S, SE 7, 8 and 10 iOS 11.2 speed test. Now the reason I'm conducting this review is because I want to see which one is actually performing the best here on iOS 11.2, the latest official version with the bug releases, excluding the pluses from this video here. If you want to see the pluses comparison, drop that down below in the comments. We're going to speed through some of the tests here. We're going to begin with the boot up on the 5s and we're going to see how this one does finish so the apple iphone 5s is going to finish with 41.20 on its boot up so pretty slow here but it's to be expected it's a really old iphone now it's 2013 smartphone we're here in 2017 going into 2018 let's get on with the 6 now i do have a crack on the screen i dropped this thing when doing ios 11 beta something and it just fell and broke but we're going to see that this finishes with a little bit of a better score of 33.33 so a good a good bit faster than the 5s but not too much getting on to the success here is where things start to change quite a bit so let's go ahead and see what this one does on the boot up and you're going to see it finishes with right around 22 ish seconds so 22.43 on the success the fastest boot up so far but what can the iphone se do when it comes to the boot up test so let's go ahead and see what this one does here in three two and let's get into this and you're going to see it finishes with the fastest score so far of just 19.7 or 18 seconds here on its boot up so it's the fastest one so far on the boot up so getting on to the iphone 7 i do have the rose gold one don't judge me let's go ahead and start this thing up here and get on to the boot up and see what it does finish with 23.87 so a little bit slower than the se and the success but here is the space gray iphone 8 let's see what this guy can do on the boot up and you can see we finished with right around 1750 so so it is the fastest iphone to boot up so far but can the iphone 10 boot up faster than all of them well let's see and you see we finish here with 18.49 so with that being said it's the second fastest across all these iphones now what i want to do is go ahead and confirm really quickly the software versions just so you know this test is fair iphone 5s 11.2 iphone 6 we are on 11.2 as well 15c 114 you could see here on the iphone 6s we're also on ios 11.2 15c 114 getting onto the iphone se it's the same deal here ios 11.2 15c 114 showing you the iphone 7 15c 114 iphone 8 same thing here ios 11.2 15c 114 and finally the iphone 10 you can see 15c 114 11.2 so this is definitely a fair test let's go ahead and get into the application speed test portion of this video we're going to begin with the 5s you can see everything is closed out again i'm going to run through this quickly and speed through because we would be sitting here all day if i did go through every single application on all of these devices this is a lot of devices here you can see the iphone 5s finishes with a total of 104 0.22 so it actually took quite long to do this test on the 5s in comparison to the other phones as you're going to see so let's get into the iphone 6 now the apple a8 cpu with still one gigabyte of ram a small improvement over the 5s and let's see how this one finishes here on ios 11.2 at the final marker so i'm getting into youtube mario run really the older devices start to struggle when it gets into the gaming portion of them so you can see 59.24 so only five seconds faster than the iphone 5s which can add up over time so it's slightly faster overall getting into the iphone 6s now this one is where it really starts to improve with the a9 showing its stuff even on the newer ios versions the iphone 6s finishes about half as fast as the iphone 5s and about 40 percent faster than the iphone 6 you're gonna see it does finish with right around 30.3305 uh, so still pretty good stuff here 
on the iPhone 6s, so you can rest assured this one's performing quite well on 11.2. So getting on to the iPhone SE on iOS 11.2, it should perform quite similarly to the iPhone 6s. It does have an Apple A9 CPU as well, and it looks pretty speedy through this run here, and it actually finishes with milliseconds less than the iPhone 6, so or 6s. So it's basically you know the same thing. Milliseconds is really nothing. I'm gonna call it pretty much a draw here with the 6s, but it finishes with a total of 33.59. So call it a draw between the 6s and the iPhone SE. I mean, that's what we expect. They are the same internals. Getting on to the iPhone 7 rosy gold here. We do have the Apple A10 CPU. This is a fusion chip and look at the iPhone 7 just fly through these applications. So maybe Apple is updating the iPhone 7 and above series to be just a little bit faster on their newer versions or maybe iOS 11 just requires a little bit more power. Who knows? You can see 29 0.02 and the fastest so far on this test has been the iPhone 7 over the SE and the 6s. Getting on to the iPhone 8 now, we're looking at an Apple A11 CPU with two gigabytes of RAM. And closing up the test here, you can see that we do finish with right around 23.79, so smoking everything else in this test so far, and really fast stuff here for the iPhone 8. Here we are with the final glorious iPhone 10 that is the priciest in the bunch here, and really, you know, worth it depending on if you love the design of it. It's a really radical difference from all the other iPhones, but is it much faster than all the other iPhones in this test? And you see what it finishes with a 25.77. So no, the Apple iPhone 8 was the fastest here in this entire application speed test. Now I did test these before I did this video, so this is not like it's an unfair test. I did this like two times and it's pretty much the same results every time. So overall, we can conclude from this video that the iPhone 8 is the fastest phone running iOS 11.2 right now. I, again, the iPhone 10 super fast, second in line here. The iPhone 7 third, then comes the 6S, then the SE, then the 6, and finally the old boy, the iPhone 5S. So that wraps it up here between these two phones here, all these phones here on the table. You know, it was a really fun test here, but the older iPhones with the A8 CPU and below are really starting to show their age. They're not really that functional anymore. If you found this helpful, hit the thumbs up for me. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more. And peace.